Bloom News Brief. More info at fullandbloom.com. Desmond Child was recently interviewed by Ultimate Classic Rock. The veteran songwriter and producer is spending the week at Rock and Roll Fantasy Camp in Nashville for a songwriting summit that runs from April 7th through April 10th. On Sebastian Bach, Desmond said, I had kind of a long history with Skid Row. John Bon Jovi's best friend, Snake, started the band. John wanted to help his friends, so he got behind the band and helped them get a deal. He helped to put them on tour with Bon Jovi and all of that. I was very impressed with Sebastian Bach. His singing, his looks... When I made my album Discipline on Elektra and I was touring around, I was in Toronto and I was on my way to a radio station to do an interview. Sebastian Bach was on the radio before me. He started slagging Bon Jovi, kind of putting them down. I said to the driver, put the pedal to the metal. Let's get to the radio station. I'm going to kick his ass. I was so pissed. When I got there, the elevator opened and I think his on the other side was closing with him going down. I got to the station and it's like, what an ungrateful creep. I was just so pissed off at him. Later on, he wore a t-shirt that was very insulting that said, AIDS kills fags dead. There was terrible backlash. I had so many of my friends die of AIDS, including one of my brothers. It was like, wow, what is he? Just anything for attention? Time went on and he had gone to Broadway and appeared in Jekyll and Hyde. I don't know how we hooked up, but I think 10 years had gone by and that's my 10 year rule. I'll forgive somebody after 10 years. The hex is off and I'm willing to forgive and forget and move on. He came to write with me here in Nashville, and he was telling me unbelievable crazy stories about his life on Broadway and all the crazy things he was doing. He was very charming. We made friends and wrote this song that was originally titled The Devil's Deja Vu. He changed the title to Falling Into You. In a 2012 interview with Art Scenix TV, Bach revealed that his issue with John arose from a contract Skid Row signed with Sam Boras and Bon Jovi's publishing company, unknowingly giving them the lion's share of the group's royalties. According to Wikipedia, Sam Bora later gave back his share of the royalties, but Bon Jovi kept his. Sebastian said, Nobody thought we would become a big band. That happens all the time in the music industry. John was like, we'll take you on tour, but if you guys make it big, then I get a cut of it. So I was bitter about that for a while, but then I realized that we probably wouldn't have made it as big, or maybe at all if he didn't take us. I actually had dinner with John years ago. We were at the Mandarin Oriental in London, me and Axel Rose. We're sitting there and the waitress says, hey, guess who's over in the corner? And me and Axel go, who? She said, John Bon Jovi. And I go, get the fuck out of here. And I turned and he was in the corner. I didn't know what to do because we had had words. Most of them were mine. So I go, you know what, fuck this. I'm gonna go over there and say hi to him. Cause we used to be great, great friends. I had Christmas dinner at his house. So I stood up and walked over towards John. John was looking at me going, are you gonna be a fucking dick or are you gonna be nice? Like, what are you going to do? What are you going to say? I said, hey man, how's it going? He's like, hey man. He stood up and we hugged. Then he came over to me and Axel's table and we drank about 15 bottles of wine. Links to both interviews can be found in the description. More news at fullandbloom.com. <laughs> 